Five star copies all, go ahead. Message to observer, Alpha, three rounds, AT delay in effect, three guns. Bravo, two rounds, two guns, smoke on effect. Hey, what's up guys? It's Andrew with Options Millionaire. Today is October 20th, 2021. Wanted to go over the trade of the day that we called live in the room. Uh, another trade also, which is why I wanted to highlight this, that was done without any technical analysis whatsoever. This was apparently a market sentiment play based on volume and based on market awareness that worked out fantastic in our favor. And let's go over it now. So setting up the play here, you see SPY. I've only got half the chart shown because I want to show exactly how I lay this out. This is the morning time. I've got our level set, R1, R2, R3, and look how beautifully they work. Uh, bounced off R1 beautifully, consolidated around two, and then, man, rejected R3 all day long, just time and time. I think like 15 times we actually rejected R3. So once again, for like two weeks in a row, our levels are absolutely on the money, sometimes down to the cent, and that's really what gave me the high confidence to take this put and come on down. Right now, uh, this is the setup right before I took the play on SPY. You see, we came up 452.54 was our level. Rejected, 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 rejected over and over and over again. Each time the volume down here was getting lower and lower and lower, the top wicks are getting more and more frequent. So that tells you with those top, top wicks of the green and red candles with the volume diminishing, that told me that I can expect some how some to rejection as long as the other type, the other ends of the market that I'm looking at really coincide with the with a downside here so what i do is i started looking around the market and i've got my watch list here i went over to tech qqq this is the right before i took the trade big downside every time there was a green candle on tech it got smoked i looked at microsoft i looked at amazon i looked at tesla everything started giving everything back nvidia gave it back google gave it back so i started to see big time negativity in the tech market so q is getting smoked down here now the one thing that was really holding back on me was XLF. This was XLF coming up and up and up because XLF was just beast mode. XLV was climbing steadily out throughout the day. And once I start to see the top wicks on XLF really start to form right about here, see these top wicks, volume fell off a cliff. I thought, okay, so the volume was starting to drop off. The price action on XLF was starting to trade sideways. I knew there's probably going to be some sort of pullback on XLF. Now, with the downside in QQQ being so heavy, if I got a downside on, on XLF, it was going to tank SPY. I knew it was going to at least come down to our, our R2 levels, which was right here. It can at least come down to our R2 levels, if not more, if we got some downside in, in the XLF sector. Finally, I want to focus on the bonds and the VIX. And the bonds of the VIX are really the cream of the crop here. This is the prime ingredient of this recipe for the puts. Now, I look over the bonds. I knew the bond auction was coming up here. We see this crazy volatility. And I'm going to disregard this because this is what happened right before. I'm watching the big spike up in bonds. That's showing me that volatility is starting to come into play. XLF is hugely, is already spiked. I know it's already very high. So I elected, okay, that's for me. With the volatility coming the bonds here, the big buy-up, I'm expecting some sort of rotation from XLF. Uh, then the final ingredient here was the VIX. The VIX down here was down already at the pivot. I know it was already down in the 1530, 1520 level, which was at the pivot where it likes to bounce. Likes to bounce. I had this indicator here, the 1512. That's the bottom pivot for VIX. I knew that thing was going to bounce somewhere down there. It didn't quite get there, but it did get to their first pivot. That for me was a high confidence play. So I'd like to go ahead and take the put and let's go ahead and put it where I bought in right here and I elected to take the 1022 45 25 puts. I got a fill of $8.40. I actually held this position for about 10 minutes before it actually broke. And I know it's it went actually got down to 790, I think, 7, 8, 10, 820. It was hovering right in there. But all the time, it was bouncing off S or R3, R3, bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. All the while, Qs were going down, 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 down. XLF wasn't moving up. All I was looking for with all the ingredients I just described to come into play. And sure enough, they started to do it. And the second they all started to coincide with my thesis, let's watch what happens. I'm going to hit play on this replay so you all can see. Boom, we just bounced off R3. Everything coincides and then flush right here. Boom. Out the bottom, we get our first red candle. Another red candle right out of the gate. And down and down we go. We see this. I'm watching QQQ flipping back and forth as it's happening. QQQ is still falling. VIX is still climbing. We blast through R2. We come down and blast right off of R1. Perfect level. Come up here, and I actually close the position down on R1 for $12.50 for a 49.5% gain. I actually went on and 
entered another quick put here for another additional 20% on top of this. But the play I really want to focus on is a 49% win right there, not using any technical analysis, using purely market awareness and volume analysis. The two main ingredients for a position. That's why I'm on this hot streak right now. That's why I do not need technical analysis to be right all the time. Because a play like that, the EMAs are not going to show you that put. The EMAs are going to show you that we're still increasing because everything's up. But right now, the trade analysis right now with the market is going to show you that was a major put, a strong entry, and we got out with a 50% gain. Some people took a shorter expiration in the room, and they got even bigger profits. So the room actually killed it on this play. It was very happy for me for yet because yet another play that not many other people saw, but we were able to take advantage. Anyway, that is all I got. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned a little something along the way. If you want to join the community, please come over. Follow the link in the description of the video to come join the Patreon. Uh, join the community that's centered around communal education, learning the right way and the responsible way to do things so you can not only be profitable now, but you can continue to be profitable for the decades to come. I'm Andrew with Options Millionaire. Please hit that like and subscribe button so you can get notifications for all future content. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I'm out. See you.